Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've made it out today for a sunrise shoot to Flatford Mill and also the world famous Willie Lott's Cottage that Constable painted uh, for the Hayway. It's um, an absolute amazing location and hopefully sunrise is in about sort of 25 to 30 minutes and hopefully proved to be a really good shoot this morning. So let's come along for the journey. So I've got the first image set up here of Willie Lott's cottage um, with the path sort of bending around leading up to the cottage with the reeds in the middle, obviously some of the uh, ford here as well, some of the river and uh, obviously the cottage is the main focal point. So I've taken um, a bracketed image but the base image is F11 ISO 100 and a two second exposure bracketing two stops either side just because obviously we're in that sort of pre-dawn uh, phase at the moment um, I just want obviously like, all of those exposures in the bag so I'll obviously play around with them in post processing but uh, composition plonking the tripod straight down first one in the bag okay I've had a little bit of a look round, and I think I can obviously improve on the composition the longer that I'm here also I'm thinking about taking a pano image as well just so I've obviously got more of that in play so I obviously can uh, work with that again in post processing but uh, yeah absolute composition heaven here no wonder it's world famous So for the next composition, I've just come down the bank a little bit, as you've seen. Um, just because I think this one's working out a little bit better, this composition. I've got the reeds now leading round to the actual cottage itself. Um, and lowering the tripod that little bit, just to make the reeds that little bit more prominent within the actual image. Where I had it on full height, um, it was just getting some of these reeds here, some of the dead reeds that um, really weren't adding to the image. I didn't really want to go any higher and I thought well, actually they make a bit more foreground interest. So dropping the tripod that little bit further down makes it for a little bit more of an interesting image, I feel. But obviously feel free to comment below. Um, but yeah, as I say, the reeds sort of bending round leading up to the cottage itself. Um, obviously the cottage being the main subject. 
and then obviously got some of the sort of stagnant water here in, in the waterway. Uh, but obviously with all the algae over the top, um, making again to be quite an interesting image. So I've got the camera set up on 18mm, F11 ISO 100 and about one sixth of a second exposure as my base image and again exposing two stops either side bracketing the image. But again working out really quite interesting. We're a little bit further away from, um, well sorry about 10 minutes away now from uh, the sunrise so I can see that the clouds are taking over there. There was a little break in the clouds but whether or not it's really going to take and uh, obviously project any light onto the actual clouds themselves I really don't know but um, fingers, toes and everything else crossed but that's the fun and the game of landscape photography isn't it? You never know I may be able to get out the paintbrush and paint in a different sky. So for the next image, I've just literally come about probably um, 10 metres or so from where I was down on the bank of the river here, um, obviously to the uh, side of the Flatford Mill. Uh, looking back over at the uh, Willie Lotts Cottage, um, it's uh, an, another interesting composition. The better one I feel as well because you've got more of a sweep round of the reeds leading up to the cottage. Obviously you've got the green of the algae in, in the waterway here. But unfortunately the sky is not really playing ball this morning. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, there was a very small sort of uh, gap on the horizon and I was hoping just before sort of the sun actually rose that it would obviously project some lovely golden light onto the cloud base that we've got here. But unfortunately that never happens. But that's the way of landscape photography. I could have stayed in bed this morning and it could have been an absolute glorious sunrise here with fantastic orange and colours in the sky. But I would have missed it. However, obviously I've come out and now I'm wishing that I was back in bed. But hey ho, that's the way it is. But yeah, again for this image, um, taking the camera onto 18mm, F11 again, ISO 100 as normal, and about one third of a second as my base image, and again exposing two stops either side. Again, because obviously I've just got that bit to play with when I go back to post-processing. Um, but yeah, really interesting location. I'm so chuffed that I've actually made it out today uh, to this location as I've got the time to do it. Um, yeah, really, really great. Um, one of these iconic locations that I've always wanted to visit. Hopefully though, some of the images that I've captured this morning will actually do this place justice because it is really fantastic. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a walk around now, see if there's any other compositions, go back over to the uh, lock as well, see what I can capture over there. But um, yeah, for this actual location, really interesting. I have considered sort of turning the other way and actually taking an image of the uh, Flatford Mill here. Um, yeah, I'm not really finding a great composition, I think, for that one. Um, with obviously the stone wall, there's no real sort of uh, focal point. And um, yeah, due to that reason, I'm not really sort of that keen on any of the compositions that I've been able to achieve today. I think that would actually work if I would have had, had a great sky this morning. That may well have worked that little bit better. But um, as it is, yeah, not really sort of uh, pushing all the buttons at the moment for that composition. But um, yeah, for, for what I've came for, which is the cottage, really pleased with the images that I've captured so far. So yeah, hopefully I'll go and find some others.
So for the next composition, I've made it back down the road a little bit to the tea room of the National Trust properties that are around this area. Uh, looking over the footbridge here, um, absolutely fantastic. So still and calm. Um, absolute mirror image is uh, what I'm being able to create in the actual uh, detail in the, the river here. Um, so yeah, I've got the camera set up on uh, F11, ISO 100, 18mm on the lens and again bracketing but the base image is one that's oh, sixth of a second um, and yeah working out really quite well. I've gone in a little bit more detail now within the sky as obviously it's getting a bit brighter now but obviously bit, having that bracketed image being able to pull that uh, obviously detail back within the highlights and obviously the shadows as well but really loving the stillness and the calmness of this image um, and the reflections that I'm able to create. I think what I'm going to look at next now is sticking with this actual location but using the uh, zoom of the lens and trying to pick out some more sort of intimate reflections and shots now as well. So hopefully, yeah, working out to be a grain, a really obviously interesting location to visit. <music> So, um, proved to be a really interesting uh, shoot today. Uh, loads of compositions that I've had around this location here, particularly around the tea room area. But uh, yeah, really great location to come. And obviously taking the images of the Willie Lots cottage, uh, obviously the main reason for visiting, but fantastic that I've obviously made the effort to get up at 3 a.m. and uh, do the one hour drive to get here. Uh, got to the car park at uh, quarter past four it, this morning so yeah obviously best plans and all that but unfortunately let down by the sky but it's not defeat I've been able to visit a location I've always wanted to visit and take some images that I've always wanted to do so in that respect it's an absolute winner um, coming here now down to the river itself and taking these images as well absolute bonus to be fair um, but yeah, really interested, really enjoyed it coming out this morning and well worth the effort. And that's always the case, it is worth the effort regardless of the sky or whatever the issue is, it doesn't work out but it's still worthwhile coming out with a camera as I've said many a times before. But uh, please feel free to leave us a comment about the images that I've captured this morning. Um, please feel free to consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks to everyone that's recently subscribed to my channel. Um, absolute plus. I really have, I'm obviously pleased with the feedback that I'm getting from some people um, about the images that I've captured and the locations that I've recently visited as well. But thanks a lot for watching and take care.